many people want to try to bring frameworks and lenses of analysis of high theory like Marxism, like structuralism and so forth to understand how these movements work in various ways. And uh, I think that in the same way that uh, Cesar Chavez was able to talk about moving uh, uh, away from existing structures of organizing to create alternatives, that he also uh, never relied upon high theory to motivate people. Is when he was ever asked, where did you learn about nonviolence? He said, of course, I've read Gandhi, I've read Thoreau, but it was really about uh, learning about nonviolence from my mother. I witnessed her reaching out to people in our community and that the importance of reaching out to the least of uh, the, the community uh, is an important part of what social justice meant. Serve the homeless and transient folk uh, in the community. She would make food and then hand it out freely to people. If an organization or a, a theory wasn't envisioning how these people could become actors or be taken care of, then he said he wasn't very interested in those kinds of bodies or those kinds of theories. Ground Cesar Chavez said, look, social justice uh, and peace activism really doesn't mean anything if it can't extend a hand to those kinds of folks. To the, uh, if a theory can envision how those people can become agents in social change, then this is really a theory that is vanguardist. And uh, 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 Cesar Chavez was not uh, particularly interested in vanguardism as part of social justice. In fact, the emphasis that he always gave in the, the uh, farm workers movement in their organizing institute, his position was always, we're not here to create leaders, we're here to create organizers. And the, the job of an organizer is to help a community develop its own leadership, its own set of skills amongst the people, so that organizers essentially uh, make themselves obsolete and uh, work themselves out of a job. And so the idea is how do you take people who perhaps are feeling uh, frustrated and want social change but don't necessarily know how to do it, how can we help them to develop their own skills to be able to address structural problems in their own community? But not in a sense of charity in the ways that the church would work with it, but trying to figure out how we change those people into agents that can make change for themselves.